I want to share with you guys my favorite hearing protection, whether it's for going to the gun range or using heavy machinery. These Axle earbuds have been my favorite ones to go with. Not only do they amplify the noise around me so I can hear everything going on, but they also keep my ears protected when shooting guns and operating post drivers and heavy machinery to the point that I have two of them because I had the first one, loved them, and then they came out with the Gen 2 and I had to have them. So I wanna show you these two different options and share with you why I like them so much. These are the first ones here that I got. The reason I like them is because they last for about eight hours of constant runtime and they just make it easier to shoulder a rifle. That or work outside because I don't have the big earmuffs. I'm not hitting it on things. I've used these at countless training courses for firearms and doing many different projects. We actually built a huge shooting platform out in the forest and use that for all the heavy machinery going on there. And the point is, is that they simply work. Now Axel's been making hearing protection like this for a long time. And the very first version that they had of these, I did not like them at all. I purchased them and had to send them back because the ambient noise was way too staticky. Then they came out with a new version like these here and these work awesome. Then they came out with their Ghost Strike 2.0 and I had to have these. It has a bigger battery pack on this side but the Bluetooth control is much better. The thing that I didn't like about the first ones here is that the Bluetooth works but it really only works properly when you have hearing amplification turned on. And I wanted to be able to turn off the hearing amplification, like when I'm on an airplane, I wanna be able to switch between being able to hear everything around me and not hearing anything around me. And only one earbud will work in a Bluetooth mode. So that's one thing that they fixed with the second unit is that you can now turn off hearing amplification and still listen to Bluetooth with these, which makes it really great for travel. So this side here has all the Bluetooth connectivity and options right here as far as volume control. And then here on this side is the hearing amplification settings. You have a switch here to turn it on and then the plus or minus button for volume control. It does come with different foam inserts. These are the non-firearms rated ones, but I find that the firearm rated ones are too thick and they're really hard to get in my ears because I have pretty small ear holes. So I stick with the smaller ones and most people that I know that have these stick with the smaller ones, you're not gonna get as much hearing protection but it does give you good hearing protection. The way that I find that it hurts the most if I am using those without the shooting ear foam is when the noise is coming from behind. I had that happen in a night vision class where I was shooting with multiple people around me and oftentimes we're shooting in pairs where one person is slightly offset so they'd come up next to me to shoot in the dark and so their muzzle is a little bit just behind my muzzle and it's right there in my face. And at those times, it wasn't enough for hearing protection and that definitely did hurt. And so if you are gonna be shooting in those kind of conditions, I absolutely recommend the thicker foam. You're just gonna to have to find out which foam works best for you. And it does come with like six different options. Now this is the carrying case for the Gen 1, the one over here, and then a bigger carrying case for the second one. It makes it a lot easier to carry the extra foam pieces by having the larger case. And because this case is large enough, I can carry both of these. And the reason I carry both of them is in case the battery does die on one of them, then I have the other one ready to go. Now the Gen 1 uses a mini USB connection for recharging, which has become mostly obsolete, whereas the Gen 2 or the 2.0 does use USB-C and it charges faster. So I like that a lot better. USB-C is just better on everything. I don't want to ramble on too long about these. The bottom line is I like them a lot. They're the main ear protection that I use. The only thing that I truly dislike about these is when it's windy. If it's windy, the mic does pick up the wind and amplifies the wind. And so one trick is to put a really small band-aid over the hearing hole, but sometimes that can cause some interference. So it would be nice if Axel came out with some sort of foam cover for these that could go around it to make sure that the wind noise isn't affecting these because oftentimes I'm at the range with my buddies, we're shooting, and when we're under the protection out of the wind and everything like that, it's great. But as soon as we're walking down range to go check targets and the wind's blowing, I can't hear the conversation going on next to me. Outside of that, if it's not windy, these are perfect. So if it's windy, I'll usually take my muffs. If it's not windy, then I go with these. Or if I'm by myself, then I go with these. 
because I can be jamming out to music while shooting and still hear everything else around me. That's the only thing I truly dislike about these. The foam things I can work around and the battery life is good enough that it lasts me all day or all night at a training class and I highly, highly recommend them. For any discounts or coupons I can get you guys, I'll put them in the description down below. Having these so small makes it really easy to carry these with me everywhere that I go, whether I need to amplify the noise or protect my hearing. So get out there, get training, get this hearing protection if you want it. Prepare for self-rescue. I'll see you guys in the next video.